Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where I'll be spilling all of the drag tea, gossip, drama and secrets. Today is part two of Drag Race Queens Who Have Quit Drag. If you haven't already, please make sure you check out part one on my channel. Please note that I will be referring to people by their drag names for ease, unless they have specifically said they don't want to be called by that name anymore, and I will also be using she, her pronouns while in drag, and then their preferred pronouns out of drag. If any of this information is unclear or incorrect, please let me know in the comments and I will try and correct it for any future videos. Please just click that subscribe button and if you want, ring the bell to get notified for my future videos. Fred Van Leer. Fred Van Leer has been the host of Drag Race Holland since it started in 2020. Although Fred appears in full drag on the actual show, he's actually been retired from being a drag queen for quite some time. He previously worked as a drag queen in Rotterdam for about 15 years and then he was a judge on Holland's Next Top Model and he also worked on several other TV shows such as the Dutch version of The X Factor. And just as some extra bonus tea, for season one of Drag Race, Fred's makeup was actually done by The Countess, who later appeared as a contestant on season two. And then season one winner, Envy Peru, took over and did Fred's makeup for season two. LaShawn Beyond. LaShawn appeared on season four and placed 12th. LaShawn is perhaps best known for coming up with the iconic line of, this is not RuPaul's best friend race. Since the show, LaShawn has transitioned and is now a trans woman and appears to have quit drag. However, since then she appears to have deactivated her social media and has left the public eye. As some bonus tea, LaShawn is a talented designer and actually designed Latrice Royale's entrance look for All Stars 4. Fifi O'Hara slash Jeremy Fifi O'Hara, whose real name is Jeremy Carey and now goes by the name Jeremy, competed on Season 4 and All Stars 2, placing runner-up and 7th respectively. Jeremy announced in May 2020 that he would continue to do drag under his real name and especially cosplay such as Harry Potter and other topics. Jeremy explained in several interviews that Fifi was just a character that he was playing at the time when he was on Drag Race and he's now retiring that character. In a May 2020 Twitter post, Jeremy explained that, quote, when my hobby became a job, it kind of killed it for me. I don't plan on stopping drag. I will continue to and only attend large tours or conventions in drag, which will be announced when those are scheduled. But as far as performing at bars, brunches or events of similar calibre, I will be stopping altogether soon. Jeremy has also criticised RuPaul and Drag Race on many occasions, such as calling RuPaul a, quote, fraud, and that she doesn't care about the contestants unless they're making her money. Check out my video, RuPaul's Drag Race Queens Who've Called Out RuPaul, for more information on this. Honey Mahogany Honey Mahogany appeared on season 5 and placed joint 10th slash 11th along with Vivian Panay. Since being on the show, Honey has come out as gender non-conforming and has been involved in politics, for example being the first transgender person to serve on the San Francisco Democratic County Central Committee. Although Honey appears to still be involved in the drag-related world, it appears that she is now focusing more on activism and is no longer a full-time drag queen performer. Rebecca Glasscock Rebecca Glasscock, whose real name is Javier Rivera, appeared on season one and placed third. Rebecca, slash Javier, appeared to quit drag and didn't post any drag-related content for quite some time and appears to go more by the name Javier than Rebecca. In 2021, Javier was actually voted Mr. Stonewall. 
However, back in 2018, Javier hinted that he may be restarting drag and then subsequently appeared in drag as Rebecca in the season 10 finale, but it doesn't appear that he's posted any drag content since then. Javier won the Mr. Noche Latina pageant in 2022, although this was out of drag. Robbie Turner Robbie Turner, whose real name is Jeremy Baird, competed on season 8 and placed 7th. I've talked about this in my previous videos, but in 2018, Robbie tweeted saying that she had been involved in a fatal car crash and that the driver of the Uber she was riding in had died. However, police then said that no fatal car crashes had been reported in that area on the day in question, which then started to arise some suspicions about Robbie's story. Robbie later admitted that the crash actually didn't happen and she thinks that perhaps someone slipped something into her drink the night before and she had fallen in the shower and hit her head, but it's not quite clear what the real reason is. After the incident, several drag race queens commented negatively on the situation on social media and it's been assumed that Robbie has quit doing drag because she hasn't posted anything on social media since April 2018 and appears to be seeking help for her mental health, which I hope she gets. Monica Beverly Hills Monica Beverly Hills appeared on season 5 and placed 12th. Monica was actually the first contestant to reveal that she was trans during the filming of the show. She appears to have stopped considering herself as a drag queen and now lives as a trans woman. Monica has actually criticised RuPaul for his stance around trans contestants being on the show in the past. In an article in March 2018, Monica said, quote, when I read RuPaul's comments, unfortunately, I wasn't surprised. Let's be real, once I came out as trans, they milked that moment and then I didn't stick around much longer. Since then, it appears that Monica has distanced herself from RuPaul and the show, and for example, on her Instagram, unlike several other former contestants, she doesn't even mention in her Instagram bio that she has appeared on the show. Tyra Sanchez slash James Ross Tyra Sanchez, whose real name is James Ross and is the name that he now goes by, appeared on season two and was the winner. James has actually had several controversies since his win and has kind of fallen out of favour with the show and some fans. For example, in 2017, James joked online that his fellow season two sister, Morgan McMichaels, had died. The same year, he also leaked the phone number of his fellow season two sister, Tatiana. In April 2018, it was announced that James had been banned from DragCon after he threatened other drag queens and fans online. James had posted several ominous posts on his Facebook warning people not to attend DragCon and saying, quote, don't say I didn't warn you. And on his website, he had a countdown with the title Boom, which many people thought was insinuating James was saying that there was a bomb that was going to go off at DragCon, but this was later proven not to be the case and it was all just a hoax. James then issued an apology in October 2019 online, which he signed off as King Tyra Sanchez. However, in June 2020, he apparently leaked the phone number of his fellow season two sister, Raven, so this made some people question how genuine the apology was. In March 2020, James announced that he had quit drag and deleted all Instagram posts that were made as Tyra and later created a new Instagram under the name James Ross. So there you go, there were eight more RuPaul's Drag Race queens that have quit drag. Did you know about these already? If so, comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out part one of this video to find out eight more queens from RuPaul's Drag Race that have quit drag. And as usual, please don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe, because it really helps. Currently, only about 1% of people watching are actually subscribed, which makes me so sad. So please, please just click that subscribe button. And if you want, ring the bell to get notified for my future videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you will join me again for another video in the future. Thank you, bye.